Welcome back. In this session, we're going to learn how to do a blend mill. Now, the blend mill, what it does is it morphs two open chains smoothly between each other. And I'll show you what it means, what I mean by that. Now, what I did actually over here without showing you, I'll, I'll go ahead and delete it and I'll show you again. I created an offset and I'll show you why I created this offset. Now, there's a line, there's this uh, chain right here. And what using when you use the blend mill, there's going to be a confiscation for the tool. So basically, uh, if you're using, if you're going to use a blend mill, you're going to make sure to know what is the radius of that uh, of the tool that you're using and confiscate by that. So make sure you offset whatever side you you want to make sure that it does not hit or go through by whatever um, uh, basically by by whatever is the radius of your tool. So let's go ahead and offset this whole uh, chain by 3 eighths of an inch because we're going to use a 3 quarters of an inch tool. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go over here to X form and offset contour. And let's select this chain right here and click on OK. Make sure you change that to 3 eighths of an inch. And click on apply and OK. So this creates our offset. Now what you also want to do, come back over here and you want to make sure to separate those two lines. So I'm going to click on 1, 2, and I'm going to go back out and zoom back over here, 3, 4, and let's go over here and click on break at intersection. Select entities that have toolpath associated will be lost. Do you want to continue? Click on the yes button. And we're going to see two, two things uh, change, and we'll, we'll, I'll, let you, I'll show you how to fix them later. So let's go ahead now and click fit to screen, and let's create our 2D toolpath. I'm going to come over here and click on 2D high speed. Come over here and select my first chain being this one. Click on OK. And this will be my second chain right here. So I click on OK and your dialog box appears. So make sure you have blend mill checked and click on tool. When you do that, make sure you click on 3 quarter inch flat end mill. And then go to cut parameters. Now we don't want it to be a cross like this. We want to make sure it's zigzag, but let's make sure it's along. Make sure you disable depth cut and then go to Lincoln parameters and change the depth to negative 1.5 since we are going negative one and a half inches from the top. So if I go back to my sketch, the depth of this pocket right here is one and a half inches from the top. So let's go ahead and minimize this and click apply and OK. And there you go. You're going to see my R smoothly. Now this will say blend mill does not yet confiscate. Uh, compensate blend chain for tool and that's exactly why we used a 3 8 of an inch offset so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in isometric and there you go we are done doing our blend mill now in the next session I'm gonna show you how to fix those two errors right here when we did our break and in, uh, intersection feature